What up, y'all? What up, what up? Welcome to another episode of Pierre's Panic Room. You know how we do it. We always have the flyest, flashy guests, and today is no exception, man. I'm excited about having this young brother on my uh, show, man. Uh, just, I just really dig the brother, and I'm, I really am in, in excited about sitting down and talking to him, man, because I've seen him from afar. I see him, we pass, we say what's up every once in a while, but now I'm about to sit down and holler at him for a second. So I know y'all clicking on for a reason. It ain't for me, it's for him. It's okay, though. I ain't, I ain't gonna hate on that. But before we start, you know how I gotta do I gotta read some comments that y'all suckers wrote in my in the comment section, so I gotta see what y'all talking about. This is what my crew picks up. And again, uh, y'all are dirty sometimes. Let's see what this is right now. From the Isaiah Washington Show, Gary Butler writes, Comic Pierre is, the, is like Tom Arnold, aggressively twitchy. Really? That's what I'm doing, really? Aggressively twitchy? Kick rock, you can laugh. This is what it is, bro. Hey, whack, okay? This is from the Carlos Miller Show. Comic Pierre, I had to be the first before the <laughs> oh my, this is what I wrote myself. Coming here, I, I had to be the first before that t, fake TK Kirkland. Yeah, I had to put my own in a comment before his was in. I don't know if you, I don't know if you ever get it, but we're gonna talk about okay. if you get his the fake TK Kirkland. All right, this is from the uh, Marseille Martin from Blackish. Fam Bam writes, "Oh my gosh, Pierre, this is by far your best interview, and what a great talent this young queen possesses." Mm. Pierre, I laughed so much listening to the uh, entire interview because of your petty behind. Okay. Uh -huh. I love you so much with your crazy self. Well, I appreciate you liking it. Yes, I'm petty, and I'm going to talk about some petty shit. As petty as me, trust me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> give it up for the one and only Mr. Tony Rock. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. Up, I got brother? you. I got you here, What's brother. What's up, brother? I got you. What's and you good? know what? I, I'm appreciate it wasn't as hard as, it, as it, some of them to get them on my show. Really? No, 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 not saying that you, you know, but you just a cool dude. I, yeah. I hit you up. You said, I'm going to do it, bro. Yeah, no, it was perfect timing because uh, it was in the middle of the week. So, you know. Oh, that's what it is? Okay. I'm just on the road weekends. You right. know how it is. We right, on the road right, on the weekend. Right. And I have the baby, so right. when the baby's in daycare, I'm like, my days are kind of busy with the baby. But that's why I, like, I do it on Tuesday and Wednesday. I bet perfect. I do it on Tuesday and Wednesday, but some people busy on Tuesday and Wednesday too much to respond nah, back in my inbox. avoiding you. Oh, we ain't we ain't bit that busy. I know that's Tuesday right. Especially at eight thirty, like spots don't start till about nine o'clock. Come on now, exactly. I'm like y'all some dirty man. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you uh, you from the um, Bedford Stuyvesant part of uh, Brooklyn? Bedford Stuyvesant, right. the day I die. Yeah. Um, only thing I really know about that spot is uh, Biggie. Unfortunately, you know, uh, know Biggie. Right. Well, right. if you want musically, we got right, Biggie, right. we got Kane, we got Fab, okay. we got. Fab's from there, okay. Yeah, Fab. Fab's actually from. I'm from Decatur Street. Fab is from two blocks up. Right. So whenever I see him, he's from the Brevoit Projects. Whenever we see each other, I always go, Yo, what up, Brevoit? You grew up in the projects? No, he grew up in the projects. Oh. I didn't grow up in the projects. Just he one block away. Two blocks away. Hell no. So you're two projects. blocks from the project. You think yeah. he grew up in the projects? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, the ball bounced on your Listen, side. Listen, bed style at that time <laughs> was an entire project. Oh, Wherever you it? lived, it was basically the right. projects. I want uh, you know, I was kind of jealous, man, about New York. I just because I love hip hop. Right. And some of the greats, you know, you 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 can, the time you was about 10 to 12, yeah, no, 12 13 was, years old, yeah. it was fire. It was the I, Big Daddy I, came, the like culmination. You said. Like it was the pot was brewing. MC Shan, all it was was going childhood. Childhood. Yeah. I always Damn. say I'm a hip hop artist. Like no, now I'll, I'll break it down. Listen, hip hop is a culture. Okay. The way you walk, talk, dress, interact, address each other, the dancing, the graffiti, that's mm -hmm. all hip hop. Right, sure. If you're born in that culture, then the way you walk, talk, dress, and interact is gonna be inspired by hip hop. So right. while my artistry is not hip hop music, I am a hip hop artist because I'm inspired by all of that. And I believe that. So I'm a hip hop artist, I'm just not a hip hop musician. Right, right, right. As right. you as you are. Right, right, right. Well, there's a look. Yeah. That's why I got to See? I knew See? how yeah. you were gonna come in, come how on, to come man. my game in. Okay, I got the new shades today. Oh, okay. Bought them today. I was like, I'm definitely wearing these on the show. I, I, I hope I, they don't I, say take your shades no, off. No, no, we appreciate. It. And I, like and I was that. like, Oh, Pierre always has shades yeah, on the show. Damn so that. Like, Where the damn you want to wear, man? All right, so let's talk about your your, your family structure. Cause I'm gonna get into uh, some stuff. Yes. How, your brothers and sisters. And you, you got you, you, seven you, brothers, two sisters. God damn. Yep. Yeah. All from the mother and father. Everybody brothers? keeps asking that. See, my mother oh, okay. raised <laughs> two other kids in the neighborhood, so I took them in. Those are my brothers. So if you ask other other siblings of mine, they'll say a different number. Oh, so okay. if you ask, you know, Jordan, he might go, I'm the youngest of six. Right. And my sister, will go, I'm the baby, the girl of right. five. It's like, right. 
No, I count everybody. Right, so right. I'm one of ten. And, and Jordan does comedy. You do comedy. Yeah, Chris, your brother Chris yeah, does. Yes. You damn near next Wayans, ain't y'all? Damn, y'all. No, we are. We are own. I think we are own entity. Is, is the family funny? The mother, super, father? super. Yo, I got uncles funny. that miss their calling. I got really? aunts that's like will drop, put, have you on the floor in tears right there. Right, right, right. Just, wow. It's just they got that. They got that thing. Now, did you grow up with most of them together? You, Chris, yeah, yeah, and yeah, Jordan, yeah, all yeah, y'all yeah, kind of yeah, grew yeah, up yeah, together yeah, at the yeah, same time. Yeah, Jordan was a. Jordan, when my mother, my, after my father passed, my mother moved back to South Carolina, where she's okay. originally from. Okay. And Jordan was a baby. So Jordan, okay. I actually grew up with the least in the house. Oh, makes sense. So when right. he was maybe two or three, my mother went back to South Carolina. And then when he was 18 and graduated high school, he moved back to New York, moved in with me. Okay. And started doing stand-up. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so you grew up in, uh, how old were you left uh, South Carolina? How old were you? No, I didn't leave South Carolina. Oh, you know. I was born in Brooklyn. My parents right. are from South Carolina. right. They moved to New York. Okay. Met, married, had all these kids right. in Brooklyn. Right, I get that. When my father passed. My mother moved back to South Carolina. I was grown by this. I was oh, not grown. Oh, I was, okay. I was 17. I was like, I'm not moving to South Carolina. Oh, no, 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 right, right, so right. I got right. my own spot. I was like, let's okay, 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 cool. So, um, so how was, and we're talking about what? We're talking about what? Mid, we're talking about the crack uh, epidemic. Yeah, we talking 80, about when they, dropped the, when they dropped the crack bomb on America, bed was ground zero. Really? I saw the finest girls turn into, you know, the worst people. Right. I saw kids that I went to school with and played ball with turn right. into drug dealers right. and get murdered and go to jail for very long. And Man. Yeah, I just was like, you know, it's not for me. What, was this after your mother went to North, uh, South Carolina? You were by 17? About, no, about the same time. About around, all, everything happened in that, that. That tornado hit around the same time. Why, why, didn't, you get, why didn't you get into that? Uh, I just didn't, I, I can't see my people suffer like that. I, I wouldn't mm. be able to, I could, I'd be the worst drug dealer, like to see you strung out and like, oh, right. and I'm like, right. I, and plus if I saw right. what you used to be, I'd be like, I can't contribute to this. I can't, I got right. a heart, man. I can't, I couldn't right. do it. I right. couldn't do it. Um, growing up when you were all in New York, uh, did y'all do the thing of everybody doing a comedy show at home or the barbecue, everybody no, doing absolutely. stand up and shit like that? My first seed, the very first seed of like, uh, this might be something that I'm really right. into was my father is the oldest of 15 children. My grandfather, Damn. my grandparents had 15 kids. My father's the oldest. Damn. And my father's very family oriented. So right, every sure. one of my siblings' birthdays and my birthday, my father would demand that all of his brothers and sisters sure. bring all of their children to our house to celebrate our birthdays. That's why every year my birthday is the biggest event of the year to me. Oh. Because my father ingrained that into me, like, celebrate your, your life. Birthday. Right, celebrate right, your right, life. Like, yeah. you're here for a reason. You're right. special, mm. you know? So. I remember being in the backyard watching like my uncles tell stories about when they grew up in South Carolina, just right. like fights they had and sure. things they did. Sure. And I remember my uncles just standing there and everybody in awe, like. Right, sure. And I just thought like, wow, that's so cool to be able to stand up and just talk and have everybody's attention like right, that. Right, right. And they were super funny and you know poignant stories and heartfelt stories. Right. And I just remember being, damn, like, if I could do that, if I could just talk and okay. have people engage like that. Then when I saw Richard Pryor for the first time. Right. And it was like, oh, he's doing the same thing, you know, Uncle Poochie was doing. Right, sure. And then my mother was like, no, that's a job. He does it for a living. So, so you didn't get into comedy because of your brother? No, no, way before my brother. See, I, mean, he was, he was, right, I right. was like six years old, seven years old. Right. Thinking Uncle Poochie is funny. I wish I could be funny like Uncle Poochie. Wow. And then I listened to a Richard Pryor album and a Bill Cosby album and a George Carlin album and Dick Gregory. Come on now, that's good stuff. And then I would go to school and tell their jokes at school and get in trouble because I was using foul language. And then my mother said, you can't do that. That's his job. Right. And then when I realized, like, oh, it's a job, that's when the seed was planted. Okay. But I'm not going to lie and say my brother wasn't a huge influence. When the guy in the room next to me started doing it, it made it real. Uh, okay. So everybody else was just an ideal. I didn't know right. Richard Pryor. I never had a conversation with him. Right. I didn't know Eddie Murphy or sure. Bill Cosby. It was just guys I saw on TV, like, oh, that's that guy. Sure. But when the guy in the next right. room started right. doing stand-up, right. it was like, oh, Right. I can really do this. Like right. this, I could touch this guy. Right, right. Because yeah. I can pick his brain and I can follow him around. And Dope. that's when it really started. Okay, okay. Because your brother started young too. Like yeah, 18, he started 18. 17, 18. Yeah. 17, 18. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Did you? When, when, when did no, you start? I started late. I was 25, 25. Really? When you just yeah, started I had that jobs. Up? I, I had regular jobs that I thought I'll just you know. And what then I was. I kept shying away from it because I thought like, well, he's already doing it. I don't want to follow right. my brother. And, really? But every every damn near every day he was like, no, you the funny one. Right. You should be I'm up there. You should get, I'm telling you, like, if I'm doing this, I know you could do it. Right. And I would go to him to comedy, go with him to comedy clubs and sit in the back and just watch a whole show and see guys like, oh, that was pretty cool. And then, I kid you not, 
they, some of them might deny it, but some comics would get off stage and I go, hey, when you said that, you could have called it back and said it again. Nice. And they'd be like, oh, like, who's this kid? Like, Chris's brother knows what he's talking about. So nice. I, I was learning the structure from watching them. And then when I got on stage for the first time, it was like, yeah, that, you know, that bug, that energy to hit right. you. You know, when the first time you're right. like, sure. fail or right. win, you're going right. to be like, this is the most excited I've ever been about something in my life. Well, when you were 25 getting on stage, your brother was already a huge star. Yeah, he was, yeah, was big. What, what kind of pressure was she? It was ridiculous, was, right? Come on now. Yeah, yeah. I was doing the you open Chris Rock brother. You Chris Rock brother. Yeah, yeah. I was doing the open mics. I was doing the bringer shows. I was barking for an audience in Harlem. Like, really? Oh. You know, you bark outside. Right, show, come on, show, show, five minutes. Lady, hey, That's shoot real. That's real. I'll sell you two shit. tickets for the price of one. Like, right. trying, to, it, trying to solicit your own audience. I was doing that. And then they would bring me up, Tony Rock. Like, what? Wait, is that? And they right. would always, you know, the people, of course, they would always drop the bomb. Like, you know what right. this is? This is right. Chris Rock brother. So all that pressure, but I had to go through it so that I wouldn't lose credibility with my peers. Come I on never now. wanted them to go, he didn't Come do it on. the right way. Come on now. Like a lot of siblings Come in on. the business did. They didn't do it the right way. That's no names shit. named. But no, no, I get what they you're didn't saying. They didn't do the, the, you know, the, 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 right the, the, the dirty work. Um, did you emulate your brother? Are y'all so, I, I don't know. No, we different, we different. You I was, talk, right, I'm right. not saying I'm a gangster, but right. I was more street than he was. Come on so now. I, right, my comedy was more like in the street. I was like, you ever been on the subway? You get a fight on the subway and the dude be like, you know, right. and he was more like, Ronald Reagan said today, you know. And I'm going to get past this, but I can't, I respect you so much because you are your own man on right. stage. And you went, and I'm being honest with you, man, because you could have easily did the Chris, you know, my brother and wrote yeah, the whole rock. Yeah. But, you know, he's a goat. And to, to, to be, to be brother of a goat, like, nigga, I don't want to, the pressure on that is like, right. nigga, you I, you ain't your brother. Like, nigga, <laughs> let me be me, home for homie. Right, right. So did you, you, you would do a lot I of that get, shit? I still get that to this day. I get people at the shows oh, like, man, wow. when the show's over, like, hey, man, how your brother doing? Right, and I right. always say, I always say, which one? Right, right. right. I love don't, it. Don't love just it. act like he's the only one you right, care about. Right. Like, which brother? Right, right. How your brother? Which one? And then how does Jordan, Jordan feel about the shit? Nah, Jordan's the man. Jordan, <laughs> he listen, after all y'all. Jordan Rock is my favorite comedian. I... My brother Chris didn't do as much for me, right. which is what I wanted, okay. but right. fuck that. I'm going to do everything I can, can for Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. That's baby yeah. bro. Yeah. I love him to death. Yeah. Whatever I can do, I'm making phone calls. I'm, you know, I'm I saw show. him one time on some Netflix, or some, something I saw him doing yeah, a show on Netflix. Yeah. On Netflix. Uh, he did stand-up, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, damn, that whole rock family good. Yeah. Them niggas. He, you know, he went, man, he not good as, at the point, he went, I think it was good as y'all, but yeah. I, I saw the light. Right. I saw the flicker. I'm like... That's my fucking see, material, comics can, see it. comics can right. see it. Comics can watch an open micer and go, he got something yeah. there. Yeah, 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 there's something there. You can see it. Yeah, yeah, because he, because, because one thing I like too, the whole, your whole family is you do intelligent material, it ain't fucking farting all night long right. and shit, you know, I'm like, damn, you know. Well, it's not yeah, anymore. Yeah. When we started out, you know, you got to go through Oh, well, I catch you then. I, ain't, yeah, I, I, I you caught you the better out, time. It's like, yeah, yeah, busting a nut, you know. <laughs> 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 you know, I mean, nuts can I butt. You know, you ain't like me, I fuck off the dick, man, like bullshit. Fuck out of here. Everybody does it. Right. Um. So, okay, so you, you, you started doing well in New York. Yes, I start, I start, I was strategic, man. I was okay. like, okay, I'm gonna get in every comedy club in New York. I'm gonna, be, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a paid regular at every comedy club in New York. And by the time I did that, it was like 15 comedy clubs in New York. Okay. I would make enough money in a weekend to mm -hmm. pay my rent. Damn, for the month. So that was, okay, rent's taken care of. Then it's you know, groceries and, you know, if I had to do, remember you had to make tapes to send to comedy clubs to get booked yeah, back then. Uh, Imagine, yeah, right. you get a stack Come of VHS on now. tapes, Come on now. record your sets and mail them to comedy clubs across the country to get stage time. Right. So I was doing that, I had to pay for headshots, but I had money. I was like, okay, right. cool. But when I started, I, w I was like, I was way more disciplined. I'm, I, w I don't want to say way more than I am now, right. but I knew if it was going to work, if I'm coming behind my brother, right. it was going to have to be, this is all you do. This, you got to do this every day, all day. So I didn't right. go on any dates. Right. Damn. I wasn't chasing chicks. I wasn't hanging out in parties. I had literally left a life that I had behind to do this. Right. And you're like when I was working a regular job, right. like I'm saying, when I had a nine to five, right. I would get off on Friday. We in a car driving to Philly for the right. weekend. Yo, let's go to Baltimore. Right. Let's go to CIAA. Let's go to right, right. Howard Homecoming. Let's go to Hampton. Once I started stand-up, I was like, yo, y'all be cool. You I, became I gotta, a student. I, I love that. I got to like these that. jokes. I got I to gotta do this open mic. I got to. Like. So I, if it was a date with me, it was like, yo, bounce around New York right. City with me from comedy club to right. comedy club. Did, did you ever feel like, like, come on, bro, help me a little bit? No. No. Yeah, that's no, dope. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've always been, like all my brothers will tell you, like I've always been a super duper confident dude. Like, like I've that. always been. Like, Fuck I can this. catch the I football, get it. My way I can hit the way, baseball, right. I, can, nice. yeah, I can hit the nice. jump rope. Like, what, what job, what kind of job you have? What kind Everything, of, bro. I've worked, what Tony, uh, what, what Tony Rock work at? I worked in warehouses. I worked really? at the Metropolitan uh, Museum. <laughs> I worked at AIG. Uh, well, I worked at, I was a catering manager. I, what? Everything. Whatever was hiring, if I needed money, because I just needed to get money to sustain what I was getting. Right, like right. I said, what I was doing. Right. I, get, I just want to get off on Friday and go 
out of town for the weekend. So when did it, again, you said 25 is when you decided to be a comedian. Yeah, yeah. What was it before? Oh, because you didn't want to be like your brother. That's what the right. point was. So it was, it was like, I'm not trying to follow. Uh, it was, it seemed like a really, like a crapshoot. Like, right, how shoot. many people really, really make it, you know? Oh, okay. And then I thought, my parents were, my mother's a school teacher. Okay. My mother emphasized education our whole childhood. It was like, get a job, get a degree. You know, all that stuff. So I kind of felt like this is what I'm supposed to be doing because it's been ingrained in my head. Get out of school, get a job, white picket fence, all that. But everybody doesn't go that way. And once I realized like, hey, I can still be successful and not follow her blueprint. Right. Or his. I'm about to say, but yeah, he, he didn't follow the blueprint. I can do my own thing, you know what I'm saying? Right. 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 And my older brother, and my, you know, my brother Andre, like he left school and started his own, started oh, his own trucking company. And mm-hmm. it was like, wait, we all kind of live in our own... Mm-hmm. All in our own space and doing what we want to do. So I was like, let's do this. You, you remind me, you're so East Coast to me. You know, you're very East, you're very East Coast. What, um, when did you come to LA? Did the agent bring you to LA? Or no, no, no. You, you try? Here's the rule. You ready for the rule? Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, yes, watching right, this, yeah, young yeah. comedians. I was taught you never come to Los Angeles and to, until Los Angeles invites you to Los Angeles. Because if you're the funny guy in Kentucky and one day you just go, you know what? I'm going to LA mm-hmm. and nobody knows you're coming. You're just the guy out here trying to get on stage, trying to get spots, trying to get auditions, trying to get people to take notice. That's so real. But if you do that something in your city and get notice That's and real. then they say, hey man, you should come out to LA and you know. So I stayed in New York as long as possible. I did the Montreal Comedy Festival. There you go. Big festival. I was one of the breakout, at the time it was big, it's not as big. As right, 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 right. I was one of the breakout comics that year. I did mm. new faces. My class was me, Corey Holcomb, uh, Mike Young, Ooh. Sam Tripoli. Ooh. Uh, it's a lot of guys that's yeah. still working. We see each other in the airport like, yo, what you had this weekend? Like, we getting it. Right, right. So I was in a good class, and I was right. like one of the breakout guys that year okay. from new faces. Okay, I did new sure, faces. sure, sure. And when I got off stage that night, the first night, one of the executives from Fox handed me her card and said, I need you in L.A. Monday morning. And that's when I came to L.A. So I came out with a little bit of hype behind right. me. A little, bit of a, a little bit of a buzz, right. and they started sending me on auditions. I got in all three comedy clubs in L.A. in three days. I okay. landed that Sunday. I auditioned for The Factory. Mm-hmm. Laugh Factory. Monday, I had to audition for The Improv. Improv. And Tuesday, I had to audition for The Comedy Store, and I got in all three in three nights. Wow. So now I was like, okay, I could actually stay here and make some money make now some because money, I'm in. Right. But I'm such a New Yorker. Right. Once every, the business was done, I'm like, I'm going back home. I don't, I'm not comfortable here. I don't know anybody. I went back home. So I came back out the next year for pilot season. Stayed for the whole pilot season, didn't get anything, went back home. Came out the next pilot season, booked a pilot. It didn't get picked up, but I made a shitload of money. You know, when you, get a, when you book a pilot, they, they check sure, like $40,000, right, 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 Sure. Took that, went back home. Came back the next year, all of us. And I can see that because you were too New York when I knew you, when I saw them for this city, yeah. you know, I could feel like yeah. you gotta, again, now it's different, you know, but yeah, I feel yeah, when you no, first no. came out, you know, I'm first like, came out. I'm a subway guy, I'm a subway yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 nigga, I can I'm tell. I'm gonna walk to the corner, get a yeah. juice, and stand yeah. on the corner and talk to people and get a newspaper, and I couldn't do none of that here. Right. Plus, I didn't know anybody. So I'm like, I wanna go back home. Right. I right. never, LA was never the goal. I never envisioned, like, and then I'm gonna move to LA, right. and I'm gonna get a house, and I'm gonna be, in, I, that was never the goal. Wow. But God is like, you, you tell me what your goal is and I'll just laugh at it because right. I got a plan for you. And it's not like you want to follow your brother's footsteps right. and say, I right. want to do this, 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 right. this? No. Well, at, at one point early on, SNL was a goal. Right. SNL was a dream okay. sure. because of Eddie. Okay. Because of Eddie. We watched, we would run, to, everybody in here would run sure. to the TV Come every Saturday now. night and watch Come Eddie. Come on now, yeah. So that was a goal. Right. But then once I got a little older, it was like, okay, sketch comedy is like a young man game. The guys that are getting it are like 17, 18. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm probably not going to get it. Plus, they probably are not going to look at me, you know, give me a real chance to get it because of my brother. Oh, really? Is he really going to be, we gonna, is lightning going to really strike twice? So I probably wouldn't get that nod that wow. he got. Okay. That so once sense. I realized, like, ah, I'm probably not going to get SNL, then that was like, the rest of that was like, okay, every goal going on, going be forward, solo. is going to be my goal. Right, solo. You know I feel you. Not I, something that somebody else had that I was inspired by. I, I, no, I respect, I respect that. All right, so you get here and you do All of Us. That's with uh, Dwayne Martin and... Uh, Dwayne Martin, Lisa Ray, Lisa Ray. Ronnie Griffin... Uh, James Nordaliva, Terry J. Vaughn, Elise Neal. Damn. Everybody in the cast had been on something before right, that. Right. Everybody in the cast was like, I saw him in this, I saw her in that. Right. I even saw the little baby in Daddy Daycare. I was the only mm-hmm. motherfucker right. in the whole cast that had never been on anything. Right. So I was like, oh shit, this is really real. How long, how many seasons y'all do that? Four, Three? Four, four seasons. Yeah. Let me tell you what I heard. Please do. 
I had a friend of mine that was a, a writer on the show or, or bump a little young writer. <laughs> oh, it might be good, it might be bad. Go. He said, they had to take you niggas off the lot, damn it, put it to another, another fucking place because y'all was too rowdy. Am I, is he lying on? He said, them niggas can now you work on the same lot. They had to move y'all to another section to do your show. They moved us. See? Look, See? Look, look, look. I, I told Hold you, nigga. Look, I heard. They, I heard. They moved us to a different <laughs> lot every season. Oh, damn. Season one, we were uh, CBS Radford. Right? Right. Then I get the phone call. Like, I'm, and then season, once the season's See? over, I'm back in New York. <laughs> okay. I'm on the road and I'm in New York. And I get a phone call. Hey, you guys got picked up for season two. I come back to LA for season two. You guys are at Universal. See? Season wraps, I go on tour, come back for season three. You guys are at Warner Brothers. I'm like, damn, they keep moving. They moved us every year. They had to. Y'all niggas was rowdy on that shit. My, my, the friend of mine, he was kind of more square brother and shit. He's like, yeah. oh my God, them niggas are crazy on over there and shit. I'm Yo, like, season what? one, we was really off the chain. Uh, uh, was that what? Season <laughs> one, we would race the golf carts. You know, the golf yeah, carts yeah, on sure, the lot. Yeah, sure. And one time I almost hit Bernie Mac's wife. May, may Bernie right. Mac, may he rest in peace. Right. But Bernie Mac taped on the same lot. And I'm uh -oh. racing the golf cart around the lot and turn the corner and his wife is like walking and I almost hit her and Bernie was straight Chicago. If you would have hit my wife, motherfucker would have been on, boy, I don't know who he is. I would have knocked your motherfucking head up. Right. I was like, I was wrong. They said, let's get these Negroes to another place, yeah. another, yeah. another set. They yeah, yeah. every season. Yeah. Wow, wow. Still one of the highlights of my career, yes. Still one of the highlights of my career. The show or getting moved? No, the show. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> auditioning for it, right. getting the part, right. working right. with that cast. Right. It was definitely a blessing. Yeah, no, no, you did. I, I was, you know, I'm out here. I'm trying to get my shit too. I'm like, damn, this boy just come out here and get it right away. Like, yeah, damn. It was, it was of course, you know, I'm a hater. I'm thinking Chris got you the shit. Like, no, no, Chris, no, no. That's Chris Rump Rump. I don't know he got the shit. Chris Rump Rump and shit. You know how that is. But no, um, let's do it. Okay, so after that because you got a lot of stuff and you got a lot of stuff with white folks after uh, all of us that was the last black thing you did because you got some nah, white shows nah 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 I, no? I hosted Apollo that's the it don't give oh, well, black okay, that. okay I meant acting like TV show wise okay yeah, I yeah. Did, no I did three can play that game that was uh, that was black as shit we, should, we shot that in Atlanta three can play okay I thought it was a, mo was a movie yeah it was a movie okay, a movie, yeah. okay, a movie, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Will Packard did that Oh, well, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 okay. So you, you hosted Apollo. I hosted Apollo. That's big. Yeah. I don't even remember that, but I'm saying- it was, They had called it Apollo Live. Remember they brought it back and called it Apollo Live. I did two seasons of that. That would be after who? Who was hosting it before? Rudy uh, Rush? I think, yeah, it was after Rudy. Might have been after Rudy Rush. Rudy, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, the, you know how that happened? Like, I'm telling you, bro, like every good thing in my career has happened for me staying on stage. That's why, another reason why I'm on stage a lot, like you go to the Laugh Factory any now. given night. I see you. Tuesday night, 11 o'clock, I'm sitting up in that motherfucker. Right. It ain't nobody else that has this many TV credits and this IMDB or whatever mm -hmm. the fuck. On a Tuesday like night. Me, sitting like me, Tuesday, sitting in the right. club on Tuesday night. You know why? Most of the good sh shit that has happened in my career has happened from me just staying on stage. I like that. That's real. I, I was at the Laugh Factory one night. Jamie Foxx walks in with King. Marcus uh, King. Marcus King mm -hmm. And they sit upstairs. I don't even know they in the room. And I go upstage, I go on stage and uh, somebody says something in the room and I'm doing crowd work. I'm just being funny with what's going on in the room. And Jamie calls me the next day and is like, Yo, come to my house. I want to talk to you about something. And I'm like, all right, well, send me the address. This is funny. Jamie's like, send me the, I said, send me the address. Jamie goes, you never been to my house? I know that's right. Everybody like, no, been my, no. For the party. He's like, all the parties I throw mm -hmm. and all the stuff I do at the house, you never been to my house? I'm like, no. How come you never been to my house? I say, because I'm a Brooklyn nigga. We don't go to nobody's house unless that man invite me to the house. Oh, wow. I'm not going because somebody else said, let's come go to your on. house. Because now I'm a nigga walking around your house that you don't know is there. Every that's fight, real. every fight, that's every real. every major heavyweight fight, Everybody's like, let's go to Eddie Murphy's house. Right. I'm like, yeah, when Eddie called me, I'll go. Right, right. I'm not walking around Eddie Murphy's house and he like, who the fuck invited this dude? You're not even me so much. Yeah, like, I'm not, that, I, that just, and that's my gift and my curse. My gift and my curse is I don't care what nobody else is doing. That's my gift. Right. I don't care what nobody else right, is doing. Right, I'm not you. caught up in what you're doing. I'm not trying to do what you're doing just because it's hot for you. My curse is I don't care what anybody else is doing. I should be aware of what's going on around me with my peers and my contemporaries because right. it might be something that I could really benefit from. But you know, it's funny. I have that same attitude, but it's, you arrogant, you stand off. I'm like, no, it's I'm just both of those. Right, right. Well, I, damn, I love it. I'm both of those. Right, right. Yeah. But, I, but, I, but I'm like, no, just, if you invite me, I come. Yeah, so I don't he, wanna, you got to invite me. Nigga. He invited me to the house. I go to the house and he's like, yo, I'm bringing Apollo back. And I'm sitting in this motherfucker house like, Jamie Foxx got an Oscar. Why would he host uh, Apollo? Right, host of her, you funny. And he's like, yeah, so, you know, we're going to bring it back. We're going to call it Apollo Live. And I'm like, why would he host that's right. not, that don't even seem like a lateral move for Jamie Foxx. Right, sure. And he goes, Yeah, so and I figured since you a New Yorker, you know, and I'm like, Oh wait, I'm gonna host it? Right. And right. he's like, Yeah. Gave me the job because he right. saw me on stage. Right. That's why I stay in the comedy clubs. No, I like that. You know, I feel like with us, it's almost like that. If you if you're on stage, well you could be even you could be somewhere at a party sometimes and shit'll pop off. Be like, yo, right. I'm trying to reach you. Right, I want you my right, video, right, I want you right, my movie, right, where right, you been at? Like right
Hey, That's why it's my curse. Nigga. Because yeah. movie premieres, I'm like, man. If I ain't invited, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah, like, yeah, anybody yeah. send me no invite. Like, I right. see people on IG like, yo, you going? I'm like, right. ain't nobody call me, man. Right. But like you said, I could have been walking. I could have walked right past, you know, yeah, a director. Man. It's like, yeah. oh, shit. I, I went to see my brother at the forum uh, a couple months ago. Uh-huh. And Kenya Barris walked in. And I, I, I really fuck with Kenya Barris. He does really, really yeah, great like quality yeah. stuff. No, dope. And uh, I would see him all the time at Clippers games. And we would always just be like, you know, he was like a couple seats away from me. Like, yo, what up, boy? What's good? Never bothered him. Just, yo, what's up? And I saw him at the forum for my brother's show. And he was like, yo, what are you working on? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, I got a script that's circulating right now. And it's doing really well. It's getting some traction. And I'm about to shoot my special. And he was like, oh, all right. Well, let me know what's going on with you. Man. Like, keep, keep, keep me abreast of what's going on. Excuse me. And I was like, yeah, I need to stop being so anti and offish like right because i'm probably really missing out on a lot of opportunities but a lot of times the niggas say they don't mean they don't mean it sometimes. true you're true. like that's you know, the thing i don't like the fakeness i don't like the uh, fakeness, come on so, now so, yeah you so have to call you i called that's you that's why it's the gift and the curse and that's why when you said wednesday 8 30 right bet i'm there right you know what i'm saying yeah yeah no no that's why i respect you came and shit. that's what people yeah. have told me and then they, they flaked a little don't know i'm like nah i got don't you. answer i'm like you. Why, why you do that bro you don't gotta do that Plus, like I, I don't even know if you remember this but i like we like you said we've always seen each other in right, passing but remember this time we saw each other at the fight in Ontario? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah, like, yeah. yo, Pierre's a cool motherfucker, man. <laughs> I didn't know you was in the box. I'm like, I, like oh, I'm on, a big huge time. fan. Big time, bro. And we started talking, come and on, you man. was like saying names I was saying. I'm like, oh, he fuck with boxing like I do. So I was like, that's what's up, man. I, I fuck with Pierre. Nigga. Okay, okay. Come on, son. Okay. You got me fucked okay. up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put a picture of me and, me, me and uh, 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 I went to, I just went to, um, I just went to, what's the name? Um, Dallas and hung out with uh, Derek James. Yo, I with, met with, Derek James yeah. a couple of months ago. Yeah, he's a cool dude. I went, to, I, I went to the gym. He's doing Joshua. He's training Joshua right Yo, now. Yo. I, I saw Spence. I saw Frank Martin. All of them I hung out with. Hold up. So Come I'm on, in son. Houston, Texas. We do the oh, show in Houston, there, Texas. There and we go to the after party and Derek James is there. Come and I'm on. like, hey, yo, bro, listen. I know we in a party. I know it's bad chicks walking around. Okay. I know you probably don't want to talk right now, mm-hmm. but like, I got some questions about the fight with with uh, Errol and uh, Crawford. All right, maybe talk. Huh? And he said, "What's up, Rock?" Right. So I was impressed. He knew who I was. Right, right. Come on now. What's up, Rock? And I go, "Yo, why are they not making this fight, bro? Like, mm-hmm. who are y'all flaking? Is it, are they flaking? Like, tell me what's really going on." He told me, and he told me about the percentages mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. And then he we exchanged numbers. And he'll hit me every once in a while. Like, yo, just checking on you if you're in Dallas, come through the gym. Like I got to show so, you. Yeah. hit me yesterday. Yeah, I fuck with everything. Shit, man. Yeah, man. I fuck with a lot of... I, um, me, me and um, Porter, Sean Porter, we went to Puerto Rico. Uh, oh, word? Dominican Republican. Yeah, I sat with him and for like an hour before I started this podcast. Yeah. I didn't know how to interview people. I didn't know how to go. On. Right. Man, one night we was in a, in a house. We rented a house. His, brother, his father rented a house. We talked for like 45 minutes. I asked him little questions like, you ever had to pee while you was fighting, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, what would you do if you had to pee, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just put more water on you and shit in the ring and shit. Just piss like a motherfucker. I asked all kind of questions. He's like, damn, I ain't never had anybody do that. I said, have you ever had was scared when you was walking into the ring, like actually fearing somebody? Right. But, but I love boxing. I'm a yeah, big yeah, I, I box. Yeah. I actually box. I used to That's box for what, years. Did you really? Yeah. It's so funny. I used to box. It was it's funny you say that because I, I boxed a couple of celebrities. I boxed Heavy D. I know, really? Man, it's funny that I told <laughs> AJ Johnson, Heavy D. Who else? I bought uh, uh, David Allen Greer. And someone said, Nigga, you boxed everybody out of shape, nigga. I said, Damn. <laughs> I was like, okay. I boxed who was in the ring when they wanted to come to me. But, not, but I, I, every city I go to, I, I go to a boxing gym. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I go to a boxing gym. I got one here now. I was in with, um, just in, in Maryland, D.C., um, Jared Hurd. You know, you got of fucked course. Up. Yeah, of Jared course. got shit fucked up. Yeah. But uh, that's my man. Shout out to Jared Hurd. Um, one of the best no. fights I ever saw. Uh, J Rock and Jared Hurd. Hurd. Yeah. That was one of the best yeah. displays of boxing from J Rock. Right, that sure. was one of the best boxing displays Come on I've ever saw. You know boxing. Because yeah. J Hurd had the power, mm-hmm. but he's just flat footed. He can't really get off unless he's standing there and start. And J Rock just kept him moving. Come on, man. I remember that fight vividly. I was like, that's one of the best. I want to tell you. I want to Other than Roy Jones, James Ruiz. Remember that fight? When Roy Jones went up to heavyweight and fought right, James right, Ruiz? Right, right, right. That was right. the best boxing display I ever saw in my life. Really? In that my one life. Is? Roy Jones fought the perfect fight that night. That's the best display of boxing skills. Right. Okay. Not power and just okay. overcoming, like okay. overpowering somebody. Okay. The, the skill, the sweet right. science, right. that's the best display I ever saw in my so life. We, so we're talking boxing. Okay, Crawford Spence. I'm, I'm waiting for it to happen. But no, what you think? Ugh. I want to go Spence because, look, I want to go Spence because now Derek James. Right, I know. Like, I, I, got a I like Spence. <laughs> but I really want to, it's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a great fight. And last weekend, I saw the uh, Benavidez plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really discredited Caleb Plant. I didn't think. Really? How, you know why? Because I thought Benavidez was just this monster that was okay. going to walk through him. Okay. But when you watched the fight, you saw how much of a game plan Caleb Plant put together to fight this guy. 
You saw that he used mm. his skill set and the game plan worked. Mm. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. Who else does that? Mm. Who else does that? What, what, what? Money okay. May. Yeah, hold, hold, Money hold, May. Hold on, hold on. Pop, pop, pop. Grab. <laughs> hold on, hold on. When you guys guess who texts me that? Derek James, he's there. Who else do that? Bip, 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 uh, grab. Grab money, man. Push him away, walk behind the ref, put the ref in front of him, get off, get grab. Come on, that's his whole style. I don't know. I don't don't, don't know. get me wrong, he'll drop. He, right. I mean, he, he drops some cats when he's right, supposed right, to. Right, right. But he does that a lot. I just didn't like Kelly playing holding so much. I was like, come yeah, on, yeah, son. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I felt like it, a, a little. It little got good bit. at the end, though. It got real good at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought he did better against um, Canelo, uh, Caleb Penn, you know, when he fought Canelo. He could hit Canelo. I didn't know Canelo was so, like, really impressive. Huh? Yeah, but okay. Let let. So you going with? So Smith now I think Smith. Canelo. After seeing this fight, I think Canelo could beat Benavidez. I, and I didn't think that to begin oh, with. Really, really. Yes. Oh yeah. I, I don't know. Well, what, Canelo could get off, bop, and move. But the monster coming down for you, right? But he, he but coming he can't down get, for you. You saw it. You saw the first six rounds of this fight. He couldn't get off until Caleb Plant stopped. He couldn't get off. He's swinging. He right. over there. Remember Caleb Plant kept right. doing this. He kept going like, right. like, where you throwing a punch at? Because yeah. he was gone. And Canelo can do that better than Caleb Plant. Well, I think, okay, let me ask you, because uh, shout out to my nigga Spence. I like Spence. I don't know Crawford, but I was kind of leaning to Crawford at first. Yeah. Then I met Spence, and we talked, and I talked to Derek James, right. because he managed, who, who trains uh, Derek, uh, I mean, Spence, uh, Spence. So I started thinking, okay, I'm hearing what you're saying, because I think Crawford's a hell of a boxer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He might that, lose the first no, that six fight, fights. The fight against like, Sean first six Porter? Rounds, six rounds. But after that, I was there. Oh, were you there? I was there. Uh, Bo Mack, that's, that's, his, okay, that's his ace. That's his ace. That's his... That's Crawford's whole, that's what separates him from everybody else in the division. Okay. Bo Mack. Okay. I talked to uh, 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 Porter, Sean Porter, who yeah. fought both of them. I said, Porter, talk to me, bro. Who, I think, who has an advantage? He went with Crawford. He said, because Crawford knows how to, how to sh shorten the distance. Right. He said, pretty soon he's up on you. Right. He, know, he, he said, I don't know how it works, but he was, was bringing it down, giving the distance. And by right. time, of course, the later rounds, he was on him yeah. and shit. You Plus, know, too late. They, they, they had a great game plan because you know how Sean Porter likes to just jump oh, in. Come on, like, and you saw the fight. You, was, you said you was there? I was there. I was there. It was like this. Terrence Crawford standing here. Soon as he, Bo Mack said, yo, as soon as he rush in, body. 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 Mm. soon as he run in, let him jump into a body blow. Mm -hmm. So it'll, he'll, it'll hurt even more. Mm -hmm. If you run into it, boom. Body. Every time he didn't go head hunting. Right. Every time Sean Porter came lunging in, he would just step back, plant his feet, boom, right. body. Right. And I'm like, oh, that's going to take a toll in a minute. And right. as soon as I said it, like a round later, he was on the ground. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry with Spence right now. I'm, I'm a, let's see. 51, Listen, I just 51, hope I have that weekend off so I can be there. Are you, are you going? I, I, I would love to go. I, wonder what's going I would love yeah. to go. Well, that's a big fight coming up. I had tickets for, um, I had tickets, man, I had second row tickets for uh, Charlo, uh, Tim Su, Tim Su. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. Charlo broke his hand. Right, right, right. He was the fight. I was right, like, Right, right, right. I had, I hit Derek James, like, yo, I got tickets for the fight, fam. Like, well, if you come in early, you come to the, you come to the gym. Right. I'm like, yo, this dude's cool as shit. And one more fight, one more fight quick. Tank or uh, Garcia? Tank gonna wash Garcia. <sighs> Tank on three rounds. Three <laughs> rounds. Yeah. Garcia can't run that long. Right. He don't have the power. He don't have the chin. He don't have the chin. Yeah, he don't have the chin. Three rounds. Look, can't run. Don't have the can't uh, right, don't right. have the power. Don't have the chin. Three rounds. I think he's gonna go less than five. And uh, but I just feel like Garcia has that one hitter quitter though too though. And he's kinda hard now. Everybody got a one hitter quitter. Everybody Every got a human being has a oh, but if they catch you Right. Yeah, but what if they don't catch you? Right. Then you in the ring with a monster. Yeah, yeah, but he's short. He, but he's short it too. Three rounds. All right, bro. all right. You hear, you hear, you hear what Tony said. Three rounds. We got, we got, we got Tank and three. I thought so Tank because he's hip hop. He, 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 he's the next uh, Mayweather, right? Mayweather. He brings a. I went, no. I went to a couple of his fights and uh -huh. shit. Straight hood niggas, and gangsta. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mink coat, yeah. diamond rings, all of his there, motherfucker. Oh, Devin Haney. Hood. You want niggas at a fight? Devin Haney. Really? Devin Haney. Devin got Haney from the Bay. Them fucking ignorant ass Bay niggas. Ugh. <laughs> Stepping on your foot. Hey, <laughs> baby. <laughs> like, come on, fam. Can you just not watch the fight? Like, right, 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 right. I was, I'm, I'm sitting there like, they, yeah, you there, boy. Right, you right. know what? I'm like, come on, man. Right. Like, it's a fight going on. But Bay over Baltimore. Baltimore. No, he's not, hey, listen, Baltimore the planet. Baltimore. Why do we all say that? Come on, bro. Everybody I talk to about the Baltimore, you know. it is, Baltimore is not in Maryland. It's, it's, it's its own state. <laughs> it's, it's New York. I love them. It's New, New York, New, York <laughs> right. New Jersey, right. Philly, <laughs> Delaware, Baltimore. a different planet, okay, right. D.C. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, you're right about that. I'm Baltimore. I'm in Baltimore one time. I came on stage and said, yo, I'm from New York. We call New York the, the, uh, the Big Apple. Right. Virginia's for lovers and right. 
DC, Chicago City. What's what's Baltimore? The girl said, "We got crabs." Um, right, that's true. That's that Baltimore. Like, well, I mean, yeah. I'm not fucking nothing here this week. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, I I think it's just so cool. You just so different. Like, like like your swag is just straight East Coast man. And, and to be here, but I like the way you circumvent. You still you. I, I watch your page. I, I see you now. You still you, man. Um, I don't know how to be any other way. Like I, I and it sounds weird, but I don't know how to be any other way. Like I'm that's why I'm, right. I'm still in the clubs. I'm still like right. yeah. I walk. I'm at the comedy store. I walk to the factory. Like you walking. I'm like bro. Right. This is how I don't know how to not be this way. Like. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's 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 definitely a a, a, a total different um thing. Do you feel the difference between you and your brother? Because expect you know your brother. Because your brother said something. I, I had something funny to say. What, what did I say? He said, "Oh, your brother chooses silence. Your ass chooses violence." Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference between y'all two. <laughs> Pretty much. Your brother would choose some silence. He texts me. Let's, I, we gonna get to it at some point. But right. the night that should happen, he right. texts me. Hey man, I know you somewhere plotting revenge. Be cool, be cool. I, I can say, and yeah. I was like, all right, all right. Big bro said, be cool. Because your uh, your tirade the night after on stage went viral, dude. You know what's crazy? I was in Raleigh, North Carolina. That was and I'm sitting, know. I'm sitting backstage, and I that was that was spontaneous. I can feel I'm that. I'm sitting backstage, and some more was about to go on stage. Some more was hosting, mm-hmm. and she said, hey, I just want to check on you. Like that was some crazy shit. Are you okay? Are you all right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And she's like. I just want to make sure, because you know we don't, we don't talk a lot backstage, but I just want to make sure you're good. Good. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. She's like, how are your brother? I'm like, he's fine, he's fine. And when she said it, this shit just like built up in me again. I was already calm, but when she said it, I was like, God damn, that motherfucker. Right, right. sure. And then the ladies and gentlemen, Tony Rock, and I'm like, oh, right, fuck that. Listen, right. let me tell you something right now. <laughs> and then when I got upstairs, I said, yo, you did that shit. Right. I ain't do that. You did that. Wow. That was such a beautiful, real moment too, man. And let me tell you, you know, you had people in in the, in, it's in the comments. I totally agree with him. I ain't mad at him. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. You know, you make a couple of people. You leave it alone. He no, no, it. no. I get, but I get. The I, shit was I, like, I get, I, he's just doing that for clout. Like, no, come on, my now. brother. Come on, man. That was now. I could feel that pain. Dude, I, 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 I yeah, could feel that yeah, pain. Thank I you. Feel thank you. Pain. No, thank I, no, you I, I felt that. And I felt, and, and, and I was okay with you saying it, brother, up there. You know, damn that, man. You know, we're human beings, motherfucker. We ain't got to bottle right. this shit up all the time. Right, In right. In fact, you know, we're one of the, we're some rappers or some, some singers, but comedians are one of the front line of, let, let me tell you how it is out here. You and know what I'm we, saying? And, and if we can't do that, then everybody's going to suffer. Right, right. If we can't say what the problem is with this thing or that thing and try to make you laugh about it, but also make you see that this is flawed, the system, right. uh, the political system, the jail system, the school system, we can't make you laugh about right. it, but also see that it's flawed, right. then everybody right. gonna suffer if right. we can't bring it to your right. attention. And here's the thing, you came up with me, well, you came up before cancel culture. Right. Now it's canceled. So you know how it was when you could open your mouth and say the F word, F bomb, right. all kind of right. you know, you, right. Eddie Murphy said it, you know. But we do, know, we, we do know that cancel culture is not a real thing, right? What, what, what does that mean? Who's been canceled? Cancel culture is not a real thing. Whoever said they was being Griffin? canceled. Griffin, the girl Griffin. Who, who's the girl Griffin? What, what, the, what the head, with the uh, Kathy Griffin, Roseanne Barr. That bitch is working right now somewhere. But she ain't working on the same level she was. Show. Oh. No, everybody that you said is being canceled, right. you've seen more of them since they said they were being canceled <laughs> than you did before that. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. And if they so canceled, why, is, why are people still reporting on what they're doing? Kanye's canceled, but then everybody still reports, oh, we saw Kanye right, right, last right, night. Right, no, no, Kanye right. got a new girlfriend. Kanye about to get married. I thought he was canceled. Why y'all still right. care about what he's doing? Right. That ain't how canceling works. Right. When they cancel your cable, the shit don't come on no more. <laughs> I know that's right. Right? right. That's canceled. Right, right, right. This it, is it, fake. It's right. just people. Know what it is? What know is what it? it is? What is it? Can I say it? Say ready? It. ready? It. It's selective outrage. Come on now. That's what it is. That's what the best times I've ever You want to be mad about something when you want to be mad about it. When it affects... Other people, you don't give a fuck about it. When it affect black people, you like this. If you white, all right, well, they got to deal with that shit. When it affect you, somebody should do something. <laughs> Selective outrage. Right, that's real. That was one of the dopest titles I've, I've yeah, ever I heard. It. Just, it encompasses so much, you know what I'm saying? It encompasses. Because now you see it so much, you go, oh, that's what, oh shit, right. that's selective outrage. Right, right. Wait, that's selective outrage. Right. Wait, that's, sel- yeah. Are you, are you, hindsight, are you happy you, Stay controlled during that whole period with your brother and stuff. That were you at, you know? Uh, no, I'm happy that that uh, that you know, Big Bro the leader, man. So he say it. That's what it is. Okay, like, that's Big Bro. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'm happy that uh, I'm happy that uh, that a lot of people have championed him for being so for keeping his composure on that stage. Because a lot of people now here's the thing, black people know what that moment meant to us in the industry. Okay. It was the first year they ever let black people produce the whole Oscars. Yep. Will Packer, shout out. 
It was the fr- it, my brother gets slapped by the guy that's about a, pr- about to win his first Oscar. Mm. That shit could have went left for us, the sure, whole industry. Sure. That shit could have went left for us sure. as far as production, direction, parts, whatever. So I, I, I appreciate the fact that people championed my brother. Like, yo, Come man, on now. you saw the bigger picture. You kept Come cool. On now. It meant a lot. Come on now. I don't like the fact that nobody there, because it was a black production, didn't take, didn't check on him. Like, didn't help him out. Like, nobody, you saw when, 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 when the commercial... Samuel L. and Denzel were over talking right. to Will, like, yo, bro, come on, man. But nobody was like, yo, man, you okay? Yeah. But that's the thing. But people take sides, and you see this all the time. I see it all the time. People take sides with who's bigger. I was going to say, is that what you think happened? People take sides. But oh, you think your brother, because your brother handled it well, better than this fool. Like, fool, you fucked up. Man, I'm glad you handled it well. What's wrong with you? You don't think it was that kind of situation? I'm just asking. I don't know. I, I would have to think about that. But you, I, think, you, I think. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it too many times where people are torn between two sides and they always go to the side that's man you know but had your brother fell out and fell on the ground they'd have been all on him like bro you all right your brother, your brother uh, had like a g <laughs> and they was like okay you got you got it handled over here let's handle this fool right here i don't know that I'm might be, that, you know what that, yeah. i i didn't look at it that way i didn't look at it that way i just saw two people consoling a grown right. man right. who nothing happened to right sure and I knew that it was a black production and nobody from backstage with a headset on was like, yo, are you good? Like, you're right, you're right. let's take a second. Like, what are we doing? You know what I'm sure, saying? Sure. That's what I saw. Sure. You so. know what I don't like? I didn't like when people would say stuff like, if it was me, I would, I would if it was me. First of all. Everybody got it, if it was me. Everybody. It, it, it reminds me of. The whole world was right. like that if it was me. Well, remember when the, unfortunately, the, the, the 9-11, when the planes went there? You know, they, they held them hostage with, with, with um, cutter. what do you call it? Uh, box, box cutters. Yeah. Nigga, today that would never happen. At that time, we didn't know. People in the plane don't know. Right. You, I guess you're going to land the plane, you know, these four with a box cutter. Today, all hell will break loose. It's easier to say what you would do after you see it. Yeah, yeah. If you was in the middle of an Oscar, all yeah. that I would have whooped there. Get the fuck. You, yeah. don't, you don't know. It's shocking to everybody. Like, hold up. What the fuck? Right, right, and the fact right. that your brother stood there like a G and said, man, what the? And made a joke out of it. You know, instead of taking it to another level and fighting up there and wrestling. Yeah. What would that have been looking like? He was, listen, he was so happy to be a presenter. He was like, you know what? I can't fuck this gig up. Like, <laughs> Damn, right, I still got to right, pre- present right, this right. award. And he did. I'm happy to be at the Oscars. I got dressed. I'm like, I ain't fucking this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still yeah. got an award to present. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I didn't like it. I'm glad, you know, as comics should have stood up, you know, stood up for him. But whatever. It, 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 oh, that was it, the most, a, that was, okay, so what was I happy about? What was I upset about? You know what was most shocking to me? Mm-mm. To see so many comics take the other side. Ooh. Yeah, you can't be talking about people's wives. Right, right. So you really want to paint do yourself in that corner Come as a comedian? Now. You really want to paint yourself in that corner like, we can't say this? Because you really, that's what you're doing. You got the paintbrush and you're going backwards. Like, yeah, you can't be talking about people's wives right. and you can't be talking. And then you stand there like, oh shit, I'm in the corner. Right. So now I want to see your set going forward. Come on. Since you can't you talk can't about talk this You can't talk about certain things. I want, I want to go to certain comic shows and sit in the back like, oh, but you can talk about that? Right. Come on. Wait, so you can talk about, about that? Right, right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Handicap, what? Wait, dark you shouldn't be talking about that, right? Yellow people, white people, yeah. I was shocked that yeah. comics painted themselves in the corner like that. Really? But then it was like, you got to look at the source. Like, some of them ain't good comics anyway, so they don't know no better. When you see those names and stuff, did, did, did you feel different now about them? Saying, okay, I'm, no, I, no, I, I, no, I take it back no, in the back, like no, I remember. No. Oh, you ain't petty like me? I'm petty. No, no, I'm, I'm petty, but you know, <laughs> look, I'm petty. But Russell told me, Russell Simmons, drop name, drop. No, no, no that's good. You're supposed to do that. Okay, plug, plug. Yeah, Russell, yeah. Russell Simmons Russell Simmons told me sometimes, so sometimes people, they ain't racist, they ain't mean. They just ignorant. Mm. They just don't know. Ignorant means you just don't know. Mm. And I'm like, you know what? I see it every day. I'm like, you know what? That wasn't racism. That was ignorance. So that wasn't anger. That was ignorance. And those mm. comics, I go, they just ignorant. Because mm-hmm. they wouldn't, they can't know that this is a good thing to say, being that they have the same job. Mm. Mm, wow! Yeah, no, 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 no. That 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 that's, that's hot. I like that. That's that's good. From Russell, you know. Yeah. yeah. Tell nigga come back to America. It was good. We good. <laughs> we good, nigga. Okay. I believe you, nigga. Let's, let's get past this. Shout one. out okay, Russell on. Simmons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, yeah. Russell did me really well back in the day. Oh my care, God. Took care of me Most, big time. He did yeah. More for my career yeah. five yeah. years than anybody. Yeah. I remember he told me one time. He said, "Go to Fat Farm. It's in New York. Down yeah, 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 yeah. By the Soho, bricks and shit. So yeah. right. He said, "By the bricks. You mean the cobblestone streets? Cobblestone. Yeah, yeah. He said." Go to the store, whatever you want, up to a thousand dollars, you can have it. I was like, what? So I went down there, and, and I was getting at the price got they like, got. You got like three shirts. No, 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 no. I didn't do that. You got, you got the, the, the the discount, whatever okay, the price, okay. whatever. I didn't get the four hundred dollars. If it cost, I don't know, whatever. If it cost right. them one hundred fifty bucks, 
and they put it 400, I got it for 150 bucks. Okay. They got, I had some, so much shit from Fat Farm, man, for so many years, man, just piled up full of shit. Nice, nice. I went about two or three times, man. Yeah, I did a little show called Russell Simmons' One World Music Beat one time. I remember that. Remember that? Remember yeah, that? yeah, 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 I was, I, I was something on it. I don't know what I did. I remember on. that, yeah. Yeah, remember that, yeah. So, uh, no, that's dope. Is there something that you haven't done that you really want to do, man, is it in your mind? Is it? I want to tour with my brother. Okay. I want to do a dramatic movie with my brother. Hold on, let's go to the tour. Why can't that be done easily or something? Uh, How's that work? I, I just think it's like, you know, I'm he working, he's doing it. Well, he's on the East Coast, I'm probably working on the West Coast. He's out of the country, I'm in Hawaii, he's right. in. So it's coming, it's, so just, it's, it's just a, a time at your birthday. Yeah, 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 at a yeah. party or something, your yeah. birthday party, you can say, yo, bro, let's, let's do something next yeah. year. Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to that. Okay, the, 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 so he's this is probably new. He does he know you want to do? Oh this? no, he know everybody. Oh okay, okay, he yeah, knows. Okay, yeah. okay, go ahead. All I right. did uh he when he did uh he did the Barclays this summer and mm -hmm. he was like yo it's, it's Brooklyn it's the Barclays so right. I was like yo I don't care he did a uh, Madison Square Garden him and Kevin Hart they did the Rock Hart tour mm -hmm. and they did uh Madison Square Garden uh, they did Newark they did Long Island they did the Barclays and I got there the first night and I said yo I don't give a fuck about none of these venues except the Barclays. I need that Barclays. And that Monday, he called me like, yo, you on the show tonight? So nice. it was me, uh, Kev, uh, me, jo Joey Wells, me, my brother, what? Kev, yeah. Now, have you, been, have you done a place that big before? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have yeah, done yeah, it. Okay, yeah, that's dope, yeah. that's dope. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Okay, you said now a dramatic part. Okay, dramatic. Yeah, I wanna move. do something dramatic. Just something to like really show people that we could really, we really belong here, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Like, you, you would think like, damn, I would never see him in that role. Like, right, right. Because it went on dramatic was what, Pookie, the, the, the crackhead thing? Was that the only uh, thing? Pookie that? and, uh, no, uh, yeah, Nurse Betty. Okay, I didn't see that. Nurse movie. Betty. Okay, okay um, in that. Okay. Um, yeah. Ha, ha, have you done anything dramatic? Yeah, I did a movie called uh, The Last Laugh. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. And then they changed it to, uh, yeah. they changed the name to, uh, just something weird about a comedian about comedians yeah, it's like, it's a comedian like, that got yes. out of that got out of rehab and started to get it all back yeah and then i did a i did a play that they recorded uh like a like a a show and it was called uh redemption of a dog okay redemption of a dog redemption of a dog me and me and uh keith robinson Wow, shout out to Keith yeah, Robinson. Yeah, yeah, shout yeah, out to yeah, Keith Robinson. Yeah, that's the yeah. homie. That's my dude right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's it that was dramatic. It was like Really? I had to really find like find the emotions in that one. That's interesting. You got me thinking. Yeah. yeah Check those out, y'all. Because I write I, I write scripts all the time, you okay. know, but I but I I can see yeah. I got a super dope yeah. script circulating right now. Really? I wrote it, dude, I wrote this movie like ten years ago. Let my friends read it. Okay, kinda cool, but I like I don't like this. I like, right. rewrote it again like Come two on. years after that. Mm -hmm. Rewrote it again two years after that. Let a few people read it, got notes. The pandemic hit, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna sit in the house this whole pandemic and rewrite this thing. And we wrote it from a movie to a episodic. Now it's seven episodes. Wow. Well, okay. Yo, I let a couple people read it. It's it dramatic or it's comedy. Going. It's it's dramedy. Would, would, would that, would that, when Kevin Hart did that thing with Wesley Snipes, was that dramedy or that's, that? That shit was good. I know it was. That shit was really good. It was really it was dramedy. Cool. It was dramedy. That was so like that. Yeah. So it's got a little yeah. heavy, yeah. but yeah. got a little heavy in spaces, one. comedy in spaces. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of people sleep on uh, stand-up comics as dramatic actors. No, we know. Yeah, I know we, we know, know, but yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you sleeping, that's on you. We know. Oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, like yeah. comics really. Robin Williams was, well, was one know, of the best dramatic actors ever. But there's, there's so many of them. Jamie Foxx. Jamie I mean, Foxx, so, so, yeah. so many of them. You know what I'm saying? They always think that, you know, they try to pigeonhole us and just being funny and stuff like that. You know, yeah. I, I get a lot of preps and I appreciate it for BAPS. And at the end, I was all sad yeah, and all yeah. that. I was like, hell yeah. That, that's one shout out to, to Halle Berry because if I'm next to a good actor, Actors, right, 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 right. Me yeah, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be half ass in the shit. competition sometimes, yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of times I got auditions, man. I'll tell you something. I ain't gonna mention no names, but I used to hate when auditions, you go in there and you're reading, it used to heavy, or it could be something funny, whatever it is. Say it's heavy. Like, I'm gonna kill your ass. And the, the cat director's like, play other character, I'll kill you too. <laughs> Like, bitch, I will wall your ass out. I'll call my motherfucking father and kill your ass. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, this is hard. But like, you know, he's like, okay, then. okay, thank you. So I'm like, put your headshot down. I'm yeah, like, yeah, headshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, well, so when I've casted stuff, I've always put an actor, mm -hmm. you know, a, a, mm -hmm. some regular actor there yeah. to go against you. So I can, yeah. I'm not gonna put you in a bad position. And you know, when you self tape, you're supposed to do that too. If you self tape, right. you get somebody that can really read, right, to read with you. So you get the energy from them. Right, right. I don't like self taping, man. I like it. Yeah, I like going in the rooms, man. I mean, I, I could do either one, but I'll, since the pandemic and everything was self tape, right, right. then I kind of started getting that, okay, really? you read really, like you gotta really be this character, so I can really be this character. 
and that was start, it started working for me. Nice, yeah. nice. And also, you can do make many, many tapes you want, and take as yeah, much yes, yes, to yes, you the yes. right one. Yeah. All right, take 49. <laughs> I'm going to get one of these right no, now. You, <laughs> you take 49, but every take you go, take one. <laughs> That's I mean. Take one. <laughs> take one. <laughs> so they go, oh, you know, did it. Your one beard start growing in. <laughs> take one. I'm like, hell the no. The sun was here, now right. the sun is here. <laughs> right, right. The sun is here, take right, one. Right, right, right. Well, I have learned this, though. Once I do it, I send it and I, I go about my day. I used to, you know. Oh, no, that's. That's how you have to audition. <laughs> right. You ha that's, yo, you have to audition like that. Mm -hmm. You have to go in that room, sign that paper, mm -hmm. whatever time you got there, read, and then go to lunch or some shit like that. Don't right. think about it for the rest of the day. Like, right. sure. you will drive yourself sure. crazy. Come on. Once I audition, I throw the sides away. I don't take the sides. Everything's gone. Nice. I delete all of the messages from my, e my email, from my agent. What? Every I don't give a fuck about Damn. it anymore until I get the phone call. Like, hey, you got a call back. When I was a young kid, well, actor, when I first came to Hollywood, and I did that process, um, anytime the phone rang, hello, oh, yeah, uh, nah, what's up, you, girl? You drive me so crazy. Uh, hey, hey, hello, hello. Oh, nah. what up, nigga? I audition, yeah. I leave the room, I don't, I forgot who you were. Bam. Yeah. That's good. I mean, to, to, have, to have that, to do it, man, is it, it, beautiful. I don't have a problem saying this. I don't know if you have a problem saying this. Is there a parts, couple parts you, you didn't get that you got close to, and you're like, damn, I could have went that part? Uh, yeah, 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 a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff? stuff. A lot of stuff. What could we see you in? What, what, what could you almost have gotten? Who could, um, what could we see you in? What was I almost mine, in? I, could, I can name a couple of mine and shit. Jackie Brown, the Chris Tucker part I almost had, pretty much. Oh, yeah? Had. Yeah, and they went with Chris, you know, big money takes. See, it was, a couple, it was a couple of um, pilots that I was, it was me and the other guy, and the other guy got it. But they didn't get picked up, so I was like, oh, okay, really yeah, yeah, that, that don't work. Yeah, that but don't work. some stuff I really, oh, you know what? What? Uh, Dion Cole has a show that he's doing. Uh -huh. Have you seen it? You read the script for Dion's? It's like a drama, like, like drama comedy? Yeah, yeah dude, I, I really wanted that part. I really, okay, now to me and one other guy, he got it. Really? It was, but I think, and you know, I could be right, bugging right. the fuck out, but <laughs> I think it was like, we can't, I think it was like, we need. If Dion's gonna be the star, right. we can't have Tony rocking it as the second bit. part because right. that's like two stars. Right, sure. So we had to, and that. then when I saw the cast, it was like a bunch of people I never saw before right. and Dion. And I'm like, okay. that makes sense, makes sense. because right. Right. Tony Rock would be like, oh, wait, who's, num who's, who's right, number right, one on the call right, sheet? Right, you know what I'm right, right. No, 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 no. I, I could I be wrong. I, no, no. Maybe right. that's, y'all gonna be like, this nigga got an ego on him. No, but it I, could be, that, 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 it, that makes sense that That time. made sense to me. Like, I, I've heard it done before. So right, I'm not saying right, that it's right, happened right, this time, right, but it's right, been done right, before, you know, before. But yeah, I really wanted that yeah. part. I really read the script. It was really good. I can't wait to watch it when it right. comes on BET. Right, I heard it was good. The script was fire. Really? Yo, fire. And, and it's Shout cool. out to Dion, man. That's gonna be a very big show for and, you. And this is a couple of like like ten episodes. It's episodic, of yeah. Episodic, yeah. Ooh wee! Yeah, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. I can see you on some shit though, man. You, 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 no, you, you I, I, I got yeah. some shit coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that I got a game show. show that's about to go. Really? Yeah. What's it, what is it? It's uh, it's like, so cooking shows are big, right? Yeah. And game shows are big. We put them together. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got me. Do, do you cook? I I cook a I, I cook I should cook more. I think I'm gonna start like taking some cooking classes and get a cookbook and just right. sit in the kitchen and try to figure it out. Right. Like, oh no, something I, yeah. to do with my off, in my downtime. I, I cook. Women love cook. Yeah, women yeah. love. I ain't oh, women, women love funny love too. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah. this. Right. Okay, I get that. I I'll get put that. a pizza in the oven, but bitch, right. I'm gonna make Hell it laugh. Hell no. <laughs> Not bitch, but... Right, right. I feel you saying, yeah, yeah. But now women... I didn't realize how much women love to eat, man. God damn. Them days of dainty salads are over Oh, with. no, no. Women, Fuck that. No, if you prepared it, if right. you can cook and yeah, yeah. they can eat in a good meal... Right. Oh, they get, they're on the get down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah You'd be yeah. funny and you could cook, bro. That's, that's, you a superhero. Damn. Yeah. I love... It. One thing I liked about your page, I went to your page and I didn't realize it. You know, you're a doting dad, man. That's kind of cool, oh man. God. You really, I, I mean, oh yeah, God. yeah. You could, uh, now you have two kids now? I have one. I have oh, one, one. I have, a, my, my, my niece, when my sister had her baby, I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. So I was so hands on with the baby. Right. Everybody thought it was my daughter, but it's my right. niece. Okay, okay, So my okay. son is, will be three in May. Yeah, I mean, if you go on your timeline, this is all yeah, you and your son. Yeah, yeah. Is there a, Again, I don't know about other rocks in the family, but is that something that's normal, or you just feel like, man, I, I missed out on something? My ones that why? No, no, so you know. No, okay, to answer, that, thank you for your question. Okay, so I got a lot of friends back home, mm -hmm. right, that had children before they were ready to be fathers. Okay, so I got friends that are that have kids; they're not parents. Ooh. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. always said to myself, I'm not going to be a guy that has a kid. I'm going to be a parent. I've seen them go through it with baby mamas. I've seen them go through it with the courts. I've seen them, you know, struggle to try to still work and do the thing they was trying to do, rap or play ball or whatever, and be there for this child. And I was like, that, I don't want that for me, man. I'm going to mm. wait. 
So mm. when my baby came, it was like, yes, I got money. Right. People know who I am. Well, that, that helps. I got a house. Money. Yeah, I yeah, got yeah. a couple of cars. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. Right. There's no reason why Let's you shouldn't be a good a father. Baby. Yeah, yeah. Right. And my pops was the, the most incredible right. father ever, so. Nice. If it, I just it, be it, a little I, bit of him, I'll be fine. Well, single dad, so you <laughs> spend a lot of time with your child by yourself, and shit, which is good. Let's just do that. Well, and that's, I even commend that more because it's right. different ones. Family, you know, everybody, mother, right. wife, yeah, 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 the yeah, house. Yeah. I get that. Nah, my but, brothers, we, were, we we had the best dad ever. So my brothers are all super fathers. My sister's a, an incredible mother, and we just we we learn from the best. Right, right. What well, is there anything you'd want your kid to be? I want him to be whatever he wants to be, but be knowledgeable about whatever it is you're going into and be ready to put whatever work is necessary in that thing to be successful. Mm. Don't just want to do it because it looks good to you on TV or your friends doing it and it looks good and profitable. Do it because you love it and put all the work in that it requires to make that successful. Man, and I'm going to back you 100% anyway. Do you feel pressure? i make sure, you know, you're there forever, you know, for the child. Yeah, no, when you have a kid, money you, got, you, got, you got babies? Yeah, I got babies. Okay, so I'm, you I'm know, the from the everybody family. that has a child knows yeah. that when you have a baby, you look at the whole world different. Okay. You literally want to fix the world because now you're like, okay, I it. was living in it, but I was maneuvering. I was right. figuring it out. But my baby's going to live in this. So I, I got to fix the whole world because when I leave... Mm. He's going to have this right. fucked up world to sure. live in. So I got to do whatever I can to fix as much of it as I can before I go so he don't have to struggle. Right. That's a, that's a pressure I'm talking about. To make yeah. sure you so stay at a certain so level. So to answer your question, hell yeah, yeah a lot of pressure. Nice. A lot nice. of pressure. Financially, make sure he has the right education. Right. Make sure he has the right friend group and peers. And you right. know, make sure my family's going to be there for him if I'm going, you know. Are we, are we one and done? Uh, my dad said have as many kids as you can afford, so. Well, nigga, you're doing well, yeah, homie. So we'll see. The nuts we'll should see. be busting, nigga. We'll shit. Skit, it. skit, 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 Really? That's very man? true. That's very true. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you in court. One time somebody gave me papers. I'm like, oh, hell no. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's see, that's all. It, I was trying yeah, to avoid yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, yeah, my yeah, whole yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've avoided now with, with surgery for $535 10 years ago. Okay? That ain't happening no more. <laughs> Watch that girl. <laughs> it's a miracle. Uh, well, okay, bitch. <laughs> We're going to court for real. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you're, gonna be on, you're gonna be on Maury, yo. I would love to see you on no. Maury. Hell no. And one time one time they told me ninety nine point nine 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 percent, you know, you, you can't have kids. Right. And someone hit me with the I'm pregnant. And I was like, God, if you on that bullshit that <laughs> zero 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 point one, I will <clears throat> But then they call back and they're like, no, it ain't yours. And I was like, oh. Nice. Oh, well, I was scared. Well, I, was scared. I mean, nice, yes? Nice. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, nice. Well, 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 yeah. Damn, it, it wasn't me, okay. okay? It wasn't me, so that's all I care about. All right, we do a thing on this thing called IG Creeping on my show. Okay? IG Creeping? IG Creeping. IG Creepy. That, creep in. Creeping, okay. That means we creep on your IG page. Okay, let's go. My crew and cast, you know, we do. We find oh, some yeah, pictures. Oh, yeah, my IG yeah, well, Come on now, that's what we do. We want to oh, see what you was good. thinking. All good. Well, that's what you think. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll find out and stuff. Let's go. All right, let's go with the first picture. What's the, now, that's what we're talking about just Son. Now that's dope as hell. Okay, right so there. this right here, uh -huh. I did the uh, Chicago Improv. Okay, I took Charleston. My son's name is Charleston. Uh -huh. I took Charleston with me to, to, to uh, Chicago that weekend. He lost his mind. Wait, Shows man. were sold out. He right. sat in the back with his uncle and watched me. And my uncle took pictures of him watching me, and you nice. could see it in his face. You could see it. You could see the seed. Okay. You could see, like I said, I saw my uncle's like. The, when he showed me the pictures, I saw the seed like, wow, like Dada's really up there. Right. And then at the end of the show every night, I would let him come out and say goodnight, everybody. Nice. And the look at the smile on his face. Right. I saw the seed planted that night. So the seed of what? Maybe in the a comedian? The seed of maybe stand-up, yes. Wow, yes. really? So he understands what you're doing pretty he, much? He, you know, said, you he came out and said goodnight, everybody, and I said, say peace. He was like, peace. And that smile, I was like, I got to capture I this. love it. How old is he? He's, he'll be three in May. Will be three, so he's two. Uh, yeah. two so, wow, he's two year, two, two and ten months. You got, got the boy dressed in fresh. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You know, we stay yeah. rugged. We stay broke. Oh, okay, there ain't no Walmart on him, but that's what I'm. Let me say it. New but Year's Eve, God baby. damn boy, New Year's you, you casket shot, boy. The green is for the money, the gold is for the honey. <laughs> Ooh wee! 
Eve? I ain't seen you in a suit before, brother. Yeah, that's uh, New Year's Eve. We did uh, we did the Ontario Improv for New Year's Eve. Myself, Trey Elliott, Joe Fox. Night. Yeah, and yeah. That's we always good. have a theme for New Year's Eve, and this theme, this year's theme was uh, fedoras. I'm mad at you because you had the socks to match, nigga. Yeah, you bro. Give a damn, yeah. right there. Oh, look at yeah. you, boy. Acting like you're not looking at the camera. I'm the one talking about. I should fly again right there. All right, let's go to the next picture. We'll see what's that. What we're looking at. That's the one we were talking about. That's your crew. That's the year before. Kansas City New Year's and the theme was just like let's just get fresh to death. Okay, I know Joe Fox. Shout out to Joe Fox. I love Joe, Joe Fox. Fox man. That's my man. Trey Elliott. Trey Elliott right the there. Purple. Okay. Wavy McGuire with the beard. With the my beard. man from Brooklyn. That's my brother from Brooklyn. Okay. My man Phil from Denver. Okay. Phil is uh Phil is the fixer. If there's a problem with anything going on during the show, after the show, at the show, after after party, Phil gonna fix nice. it. Nice. So I know you you do the stand up and so does Joe Fox. Yes. Okay. The rest of the guys will just facilitate. They do no Trey the Elliott's a comedian. I'm sorry. Okay. Trey Elliott. Wavy's, okay. Wavy's just started. Wavy's like a new. Wavy does comedy too. He start, he's in New York. So this is a yeah. show we see when you go on tour sometimes? This is a the show? show you see is me and one of either Joe or Trey. So okay. I do a two-man show. Okay, nice. So I do, they do the open, I do the closing. So it'll be Y'all Joe clean. Fox hey. Joe Fox for a half hour, Tony for an hour. Trey Elliott for a half hour, Tony for an hour show. Beautiful. So they get the money for featuring, they get the money for hosting, hosting. and they get a little extra time. So my guys get you know nice. the road work, they get the stage time, and they get the money. That's what I'm talking about, man. I right, see what we got. What, what number? That's what I'm talking about. One that goes to me. Man, to me. One, absolutely. I always say on my social media page, man, he's way underrated. When you say oh, no. top 10, you know, you can say even top 10 black comedian. Sometimes he don't fall he into this. I'm like, are known, you crazy? Little known fact. My brother said when he started out in New York, when he started out in New York, Damon was the guy that showed him how to do it. I can see that. Yo, this was... Uh, Come on. This was... um the show in Hollywood. They used to have this outdoor show in Hollywood, like right coming out of the pandemic. It okay. was an outdoor show. I heard about it. Park, like a parking lot? Yeah, yeah, and the circle stage. Right, okay, I heard about and that. And Damon came through one night, and I was like, you can't see it in my face, but I'm fanning the fuck come out. Come on, why not? I was like, hey man, you mind if we get it? He was like, come on, rock. And he went, it was like, they, we, we were tag team. The show was tag team, so you go up and you bring sure. the next comic up. And Damon went up before me. And his wow. intro, I wish I would have recorded it. He was like, this young man, Oh, for you. I've nice. seen him start out. I've seen him pave his own way. He's his own man. Like, it was like, dude, I can't even follow yeah. my own fucking yeah. intro. No, no. Why? Well, that's funny. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah that was, well, he's, no. He's great. Damon is. I, I saw him I, in New Orleans at a great. big comedy festival, and I asked for a picture for him, and he took yeah. it for me. And I, I've always said yeah, that he's, no, he's one of the dopest is. stand-up comedy. The special he did, that half-hour special one, remember he did? He did. The, Damon's catalog yeah. is undeniable. He did the specials. Mm-hmm. He did the sitcoms. Come on now. He did the sketch comedy. Right, right, right. right. Come on. He did the, the movies. movies. Come on now. Come on. Damon's, yeah, Damon's, I don't know if he's underrated, not in the rock household. I know, that's right. He's, he's the man. No, no, no. He's the no, fucking that, man that, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. No, I, like I said, I just, I, I put on my page sometimes yeah. when most nah. underrated comedy. Shout I get out a lot to of, Damon I do Wayne, get a lot bro. of love that people say they feel that too, but I just feel like, you know, he should be talked about. It, you know, maybe one day, unfortunately, if he passes. He do it the right way too. He get in, do his little thing, get out, disappear for a little bit. They got a hot Go show. Chill. He had a hot TV show. He stopped. Did it, look disappear? Said, go, go sit in some hot water and some white sand somewhere. Chill. Come back. All right, let's do another one. There it is, right there. No, no. So one of the goats. Definitely yes, one of the goats. Absolutely. All right, let me look at you. So this was because <laughs> I know the barber back there. Okay, that's our barber. Well, not my barber, but your barber. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's your barber. Yeah, your no, barber. No, not my barber. That's my uh, man. That's my yeah, man. Yeah, G. yeah, yeah. G. So little known fact: when I was doing the show, all of us, I would always sneak my boys in the scenes. That's dope. If I knew where we were recording, where the camera Come was facing. Now. I would always have a friend stand in the shot so they get a check. And this particular show, I told G, yo, G, stay right here and get in this shot. So I had to stand there and listen to him. Dwayne is talking to a chick, like professing right. his love. Right. And I'm standing there and I'm like, yo, G, stand right here. Right. If they don't say nothing, just they'll start recording and you'll be in the scene. Right. And when they shot it, boom. Man, it's so much like me and me. I got friends, I did movies. I said, nigga, just Oh, I do that. Every, get behind everything me, I've ever, nigga. every right. movie, TV show, you've always seen one of my friends in it. You just didn't know it was my boy. There you go. I'm Even like, my dudes yeah. that fly out sometimes, like, yo, right. I'm coming to LA this weekend, bet, come and join right. the scene. Sure. Like, sure. I, get my guy, I, I get my guys checks, yeah. I respect that, I respect that. Let me give, give another one. Now, this is a hell of a lineup right here. Yeah, this, this yeah, is a good, yeah. Shout out to Ruben, Ruben Paul back there with the white shirt on. Yeah. What was, where, where was this at? This was at the Laugh Factory. Uh, Ruben Paul does a show every Tuesday night. Right, at the Laugh Factory right, Ruby right. Ruby Tuesdays. Ruby Tuesdays. And DL was the headliner that night. Lunell showed up. Uh, I was in the building. It was, uh, we, I think we up. We upstairs? I think we upstairs in the factory. Is upstairs? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what yeah. that section. But no, that's a hell of a line right there, yeah. man. That's a hell of a line. I love it. Myra J. Myra J. Myra, right? Myra J. Yeah, yeah, Myra yeah, J. Yeah, man, yeah. man. Sorry, I, I didn't. Even, I left you out. You, you know, you know, something I like too. But again, your brother's on another level. But you're in with us. Yeah, all Ruben, around. No, Ruben's my brother. Ruben's my brother, and DL's the big homie. I mean, yeah, you Ruben always
I think it's because they know I did it the right way. Yeah. So if I was the guy that just got passed in, like my brother just said, put him in. Right. I wouldn't be in this picture. I wouldn't Come have on. credibility with them. That's a real. So talk. in this picture, you could go, Yo, who's your favorite? And I'll right. be in the argument. Right. You won't go. Ah, uh, nah. He just got passed. They they just and let him get it. No, I get credibility. You I might go, yo, that. Tony's my favorite comic in that picture. You I respect that. And if I'm not, I'm going to try to be. I know, that's right. Got another picture? We got one more? Oh, that's, it. That's, that's it. All right, so what we do real quick to get you out about it. I do a thing called, we call, we got kind of games and shit. I'm all okay. eating their ass. I'm niggas. What is this, I'm, longevity? I'm no, yeah, yeah, longevity. Get it off your chest. You, you know what I want to do to you? For, do what you fuck did. I did. I do a little other thing, and I'm going to knock this out real quick. Uh, where is it? Here's your group. I love this thing. Cause you, I think you're going to give me some good, good answers. Good thing. I do a real quick thing called hoish or broish. Okay. Okay. So hoes or bros? It's for hoes or for bros? No, no. It's for a dude 25 and older. Okay. That's some hoes shit he doing or some bro shit. Okay, so okay. is there a definition of what hoes shit is? Like, well, what you feel like? Okay, that's hoes shit he doing, okay, nigga. Okay, that's okay, hoes shit. But, I, but here it is. You only got three seconds to answer. You came sitting there. Let me okay, pick bet. my boy. Okay, go. What is your initial go, feeling when go. you hear it? Hoes shit or bro shit? For a grown 25 and older, man. Okay, no, go. 18, 18, 19 year old. Are you ready? So go damn, I can't up. even say with this. There's like extenuating circumstances behind. Nah, me. nah, you can't go. Okay, but oh, oh, so, you can say what, but you can't say well if I. Okay, so just yes or no. Bro right, type shit. No, go, go, go. My first okay, go. Split toe sandals. Hoish. Oh, damn, really? No, 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 damn. Real niggas don't wear split toes. Hell no. Oh, come on, man. Son, I'm Timbers <laughs> in sand. <laughs> I'm Tim's at the beach. Okay. I'm that dude. Shorts. Okay. Wife be the Tims at the beach. Okay, all right, okay, okay, we got that. New York shit, New York shit right there. All right, you and your girl dressing alike. Ho. Ho uh, shit. Ho. Damn, she can't have the same jean jacket. You ho. got jean jean. Ho. Ho, ho, ho shit right ho. there. <laughs> ho shit. Oh shit. All right, here got another one real quick. Tattoo behind the ear. Ho. A whole shit too? Because I'm no tattoos. I don't have any tattoos. Right. Well, I don't mean nothing. But arm ain't no whole shit. I, I don't the head. have any tattoos, bro. All right, all right, all right. And when it's the dominating color, the dominating thing on you, men wearing pink. Oh, that's bro shit. Bro, bro shit? Yeah, you can be cool. You'll be cool, motherfucker. Uh, pink? You can finesse anything, man. You can finesse some color. Colors. Colors attractive. Don't get don't get it twisted. Colors uh, uh, colors a, a conversation starter. Is that what it is? I like that pink. Come here, baby. Uh, okay. Come here. Uh, uh, I like them split toe sandals, boo boo. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. 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 I don't know if you know what these are, but Chelsea boots. You know, the short boots, you know, niggas be wearing, you know, the, the, the short boots. Like Uggs? No, nah, boots, they leather, but they just short. You know, back in like the Temptations warm and shit, niggas wear them now. You know, tight jeans, and they got the, they come up here, and they boots. Chelsea, you never heard Chelsea boots before? No. Damn, somebody Google Chelsea boots and shit. We get back to that. Damn, Chelsea boots. I'm gonna show you Chelsea boots. I'm gonna, well, Wait, I know it's not those home. boots everybody was wearing a couple years ago. Everybody had like a damn, Beige sweater on and those beige suede boots. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, okay, there. Yeah. Wait, pull it up. Let me see. Is that uh, yeah, what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. You, you might be. Yeah, you right with it. Yeah. You know. Because yeah. I think I had the, the, you got the suit on. I had on. Nah, yo. Nah. Huh? <laughs> nah. What? No, I'm not wearing those. That's hoish. Right there. I'm not wearing those. That's it. I'm right? not wearing those. No. That's ho. Nigga, ho shit. You said I had three seconds to answer. Right, right. I mean, God damn, nigga. Nah, I'm not wearing those. Man, I gotta throw my two pair away. Nigga ain't shit, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, hold on. One more. Okay, okay, yeah, one more. All right, I, I, I'm gonna see what you did on this. Okay. Charm bracelets. Ho, 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 ho. Damn, but Eddie Murphy got charm bracelets. Come on, dude. Wait, so. Oh, oh wait, no, wait. But oh, is, it like, bro, is it like iced out with like. No. Wait, is this is this considered a charm bracelet? No, hell no. You sit in the dangles, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dangling? No, yeah. no, 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 dangling. You can't dangle? No, dangle. Nigga, nah, no dangling, son. Yo, son, no, yo, son, you out here dangling, son. <laughs> Can't dangle. Yo, this your man, this nigga's dangling, yo. Come on, let the, the, yo, the, yo, the charm, yo, nigga. My man right here dangling. Like, nah, yeah. you can't even say that in the street. Right, Some girl, it. I like your dangle. Right, but, but, but hold on, I got. And then you know what happened when, when you do that shit in front of chicks? That become your nickname. Ooh, dangler. So now a week later, it's like, Dick Dangle. I'm Dick Dangler. Nah. I'm Dick Dangler. Hey, Dangle. Right, Dick Dangler. My shit dangles. You didn't say dicks, you said charm <laughs> right, bracelet. Right, right. Well, all, all my shit was <laughs> but, but hold on. My ex wife bought me one. She had charms on from like a Taurus, a boxing glove, face, you know. Uh, That's what something. my question was, but you said. But, but, but still a charm bracelet, yeah. So if it's like your, your kid's birthday or some shit like that, it's still jank. You walking down the street, you don't know what it is, nigga. When you see a nigga, I'm like, let me find out what it is first. So there's though. extenuating circumstances, yeah. but and as hoish. of right now, hoish. And hoish. All right. All right, last one. What's the last one, Dangle? Uh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the last one. Um, not controlling your woman 
in the public when she's doing an outburst. Ho. Like, Ho. But she might have something to say, like, y'all ain't teaching us why. Well, where's our food? It's been 20 minutes. And nigga just sit there. That's what I'm there for. Oh. That's what I'm there for. Really? You should never come out of character. That's what I'm there for. Okay. Some whole shit right there. That's ho- yeah, that's whole shit. Damn. Her boyfriend be uh, sitting down quiet and she up there loud. Yeah, that's how she be getting down. Fuck that. All right. All right, cool. I want to do that part. You funny, nigga, with that. All right, we do it real quick. We do it. Uh, <laughs> he's, 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 he's like, I'm dangling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is we, this? Okay. Okay, uh, spin the wheel. Go so, face. Okay. So, so hold on. A couple of things. A couple of things we're land on. You might have to tell us how you lost your virginity. You can be glad okay. on that. What you would eliminate, teeth, uh, face, or booty. It got to be a girl from, from, from a female, from a female, that you can live without. Her teeth being fucked up, you can't fix them. Or she ain't got no ass, or she ain't got no, her face is ugly. So pick one of them you got you can live without. Okay, that's one. All right. well, hold on, hold oh, on. I through all of them? No, it's a couple of them, man. Just for, for, so you know what it's called. places with, with and why. And why, yep. A celebrity crush call. We do a thing where if it lands on that, it means you got to pick up the phone, your phone, you got to say who it is, and you got a minute to say, you know, huh, Lotto, Lotto. Okay, Lotto. Up, girl? All right, how would you mac on her to try to What's get to you? What's up, Lotto? All right, that's real quick. Uh, who you play? The biggest lie you ever told? You know what I'm saying? You can tell any one of the stories you just told me. Okay. Repeat, repeat those, motherfuckers, if you want to. I'm <laughs> not fucking with you. Some of you get off your chest, or a, sec- a biggest secret you never told nobody before. So give him a, let's give him a drum roll. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Let's spin that motherfucker like a New Yorker. Spin it. Wait, I don't knock your cup over. Oh, okay. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Oh, that's that's not lost your virginity. That's so not, hold on, that's not a big deal. Well, no, we all know the story. So here you go. You you're a director. You writer. Paint the picture. Paint the picture for us. We get quiet. We're gonna be listening. How did it happen? What day? How was it? Who was it? Okay. What was the situation? You got a minute. You got a minute to two minutes to tell us about it. All right. So I was still living at home with my parents. Damn. Okay. Every year, my family has a rock family dinner to honor my grandmother. Mm-hmm. And how old were you at this time? I was eighteen. Damn, you're an old nigga. Huh? Yeah, I was late bloomer. Oh, okay, okay. I was late bloomer. Because so in high school, I was I played sports in high school. Everybody thought I was fucking the chicks that right. that liked me. Okay. And every time I said no, I didn't hit. They was like, oh nigga, you lying. Right, right. I was like, no, I didn't. So right. they thought I was just fucking right. and not okay. talking, but I wasn't fucking. Okay, you're 18 years old. So yeah, we had the Rock family dinner that night. It was an honor my grandmother. Mm. Everybody's at my house getting dressed, getting ready to go, and my girl shows up and she's looking like really, really good. And I'm just like, damn, maybe we shouldn't go. And okay. then. My mother's like, we getting in the car, and I'm like, well, she's still getting high. She's got to do her hair or whatever, so we'll just meet y'all there. And when everybody left, we realized we had the whole house to us, us, ourselves. So we was like, yo, should we just stay? And we stayed, and she was like, you ready? And I'm like, I'm ready. And first time, boom. How went, long were y'all dating? Went raw. I do remember that. I went raw. Of course. I in her. Oh, of course, I'm supposed to. And didn't even think about that shit until like the next <laughs> morning. Like, yo, I just straight up went raw. Right. Like, Come on, man. And then I thought, like, Lord, please don't let me have a child the first right. time I had sex. Right. Like, wow. please don't let me do that. And then, like, woke up in the middle of the night. We did it again. Right. We woke up the next morning. I was in my room. I remember my brother came in the room. My brother's room was behind my room. So the front of our house was where my bedroom was. Right. So if you're in the front of our house, my bedroom was right there. My brother's room was behind that. And he walked in the room and went to look out the window. and was, like, yelling to some people, like, yo, yo, what y'all doing there, yo? And she was in the room still. So I, like, rolled up, pushed up against the wall, like, <laughs> man, like this. So he like, yo, what up? I'm like, yo, what's good, man? <laughs> and he was like, what you doing? I'm like, yo, get out my room, bro. <laughs> and he looked like, okay, and left the room. <laughs> right. And since we was up, we did it again. God damn, and homie. And then I had to sneak her out the house because my mother was home. You was the king of the raw dogger. <laughs> yeah, I was raw. I was Hell raw. no. Yeah. How long was y'all dating before that happened? Uh, maybe three months. Oh, you're a nice guy. You're a real yeah, nice guy. Yeah. I, I get yeah. three days, my man. No, now I'm a different mother. Right. Different animal, but, you know, <laughs> he said now, I was right? Trying not to fuck up the pussies. So. Right, right. Hell no. Did you know what you were doing when you first popped off? I mean, absolutely not. Nobody knows what they're doing. The He's pushing anybody. If you knew what you was doing when you first started fucking, then you you were lying right, right, number right, one, right, or right. you fucked really late, like right. later than me. Right. You know, first time I did it, a girl had a lot of hair. I was I was 14. She was like 13. I was uh-huh. 15 if she was 14. But she had hair down there. Uh-huh. I thought if you had hair, you had big vagina. I didn't know. I thought all that was vagina and shit. You know, I saw the hair and shit. So you had it in the hair. I was pushing the hair. I was like, what the. It's, like, it's too tight, man. This ain't working. It's bending and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then she had to grab the motherfucker and put it down a little. Low. I'm like, oh, okay. And my boys told me first time you bust, it's gonna like mayonnaise. I was like, oh, I don't like, I don't like mayonnaise. Cause they don't eat mayonnaise hey, and shit. You, did you you looked at it? Well, they told me if you if I mean, no, well if you pull out and bust, you know, okay, whatever, okay. jerk off. Whatever. First time you skeet, niggas go like right. mayonnaise and shit. And I was like, oh, I don't like mayonnaise. The second chick I fucked, I, I right. had more experience by this time than she right. did. And I tried to hit it from the back, and I like turned over. She's like, "Don't put it in my butt." Right, right, right. And right I was right. like, "Nah, it ain't, it's, right, much, right. it's gonna go in." And right. She's like, "Oh shit!" Like, right. I was, don't I, yell that shit too. I'm like, "Shh." Yeah. I was at home still. 
I had a shorty one time said, why don't you put it in my butt? I said, huh? Wow. I said, all right, fuck it. <laughs> I, I had a Puerto Rican girlfriend one time. Right, right. I'm, I did. I'm I having sex with her, and it's crazy, <laughs> incredibly wet. Right. Oh, cool. And I'm just like, what? The? And I stop and turn the light on, and there's blood everywhere. Wow. And she's like, I'm sorry, Poppy. I didn't want to. I didn't want to not have sex because I'm on my period. So, right. just put it in my butt. And I'm like, all right, just fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. When I was in the butt, I was thinking about. Like, you could have said that from the beginning. Right. right. Hell yeah. We got butt off. Avoided <laughs> fucking. You know. <laughs> With this girl, I was thinking, I'm telling you, I, I, I was scared. I was having sex with her. You know, in the, well, she had a nice booty, too. I was having, she, took, she took it, too. I was kind of like, bitch, damn, ain't no, ah, eh. It was like, man. I went, and then I thought, I said, I'm about to come. And I used to be scared to get the girl pregnant. I used to pull out, you know, and do right, a right. game. I was like, I ain't got to pull out. I ain't going to get ready. Scott, skeet, skeet, Scott, skeet. <laughs> come on, I was younger, though. You know, that wasn't what it was. <laughs> Yo, what would y'all give it up for Mr. Tony Rock real quick? But hold on. <laughs> I got to give you. Man, I don't know what other motherfucking podcasts do, but we give you a little something, something, and a little swag bag. Look at all this Appreciate stuff. You know, for Appreciate yeah, it. Check out Appreciate some of my stuff. I got you. You gonna be you official when you get the shirt, brother? That my, my book. Ooh, what that book say? My one hundred homies and, and phonies. phonies of Hollywood. I knew a lot of celebrities. You could write a book like that. Wait. The phonies in here too, oh, like, and homies. Oh, I, I heard you. Look at the about cover. It. I heard you. Uh, Look at the cover one more time, sucker. Hey, my brother's on. Hey, I know, wait! I, I heard you tell a story before about yeah, yeah. Uh, going out with somebody and they, you, you got off stage before you were supposed to, and you never worked with that person again. That sounds familiar. You told that story. I saw. I told you I watched the show. Right, right. You were saying right. that you was opening the show for somebody, and then you got off stage because you thought you were supposed to, and they was like, "Yo, you cut the show short," and you they. Oh, they that's Steve Harvey. That's yeah, Steve never, Harvey. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, and they never worked again. Steve yeah. Harvey. I was like, "Damn, homie, my bad." I didn't do that. That's a bandana wipe. You can do whatever you want. What is a bandana okay. of the okay. show? Right, right. Then you got the the the, the, the good cloth official. Oh, joint. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I get your t-shirt. Fuck them Reese cups. They got just about like official <laughs> shirt. They got soft. You know what I'm saying? It's a medium. I don't know if you built like that. I don't yeah, know. Some, some shit gonna sleep in your t-shirt. I ain't mad at you, brother. There it is. That'll work, man. Man, hey, look, brother. I, well, I you, say panic room because yeah. you in the panic, panic room. room okay, baby. okay. Watch that butthole. And I don't gotta. Cook. <laughs> I don't gotta pull out if I put it right. in your butt. butthole. Okay. <laughs> Watch out. But no, brother. I want to tell you, man. I appreciate. It. I know we always walk by. And we don't really speak. No, you said. Just, listen, brother, you said that in the beginning of the show. Yes. I, well, I would like. Can I have the floor oh, first? Sure. Do your thing, bro. That was the nature of our relationship. We would see right. each other at clubs, comedy clubs, or nightclubs. What up, boy? You good? All right, keep it moving. Right. It was never no interaction. Right. So there was never like no beef or nothing. Sure. So that was sure. cool. But I was right. always like, yo, P.S. You know, cool dude. Then when right. we saw each other at the fight right. Right. and was talking that whole time, I was right. like, yo, this dude cool as shit. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I get a lot of that after they meet me and shit. But first they're like, oh, fuck him. But no. I, but look, I always admired you from a distance, bro. I'm Appreciate gonna be 100, you, brother. Because the way you did it, like you just said, right. You could have easily rolled in your brother's coattail. You did not do that, right. and I respect it. I saw you grinding, and I saw stuff you were doing. I'm like, and I love the East Coast swag. You didn't really fall for this Hollywood bullshit yeah, to me. Yeah. From I, the outside looking in, I was I like, this dude is real. Well. So I was really happy because sometimes I'm afraid to hit my friend, people I admire, and they give me the, the Hollywood shit. I'm right, like, right. Damn, I'm a fan of yours. Shit, I'm not saying you got to do my show, but the way you handle saying no right. bothers me. You know what I'm saying? Right, if you, right. if you can say no. But the way, don't Hollywood me, though. Like, right. God, damn, I'm like, man, I lost respect for you. So I got nervous. I'm like, I don't know how you roll. You nah, know what I'm saying? Bro, and when nah. I hit you up, you were so real. And people told me you was a real cat. I know Ruben. I know a couple people yeah. around you. And I was yeah. like, oh, man, rock cool as fuck. I'm telling you, rock cool as fuck. I said, all right, I'm going to try reach out. And you was Appreciate 100 you, with it, bro. So anytime, brother, you can you know, we out. We do, I'll speak to you much more now. I know, I'll let now you know about the special when we go okay. edit it and have a screening or something like that. I'll let you know. Let me know, well, brother, bet. for real, y'all. Bet. Give it up. Mr. Tony Rock, y'all. Tony Rock, y'all. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dawson, I love you. Hey, 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 give me your social media handles. Be right there for you. Yo, uh, Instagram, Tony underscore Rock, or Facebook and Twitter. It's real underscore Tony underscore Rock. And I do 20 questions Tuesdays, every nice. Tuesday on Twitter. So you can ask me anything. What's up, y'all? This is Tony Rock, your favorite comic's favorite comic. And I survived Pierre's panic room. I found the key. I knew the code. I got the fuck out, y'all. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. If you like that show, like, subscribe, and comment below. You know, hit the, hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe button, man. We want you around. Appreciate it.